Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again, I am grateful to be able to be here, communicating with you in an easy and extremely multiplying way. There are many things happening at the same time at the moment. It is a time of pleasant surprises and others not so much. A lot is changing, a lot is being brought into your lives that you never imagined. Many are having many experiences, extremely interesting and others not so much. The journey of each soul writes exactly what you are going through today. It is as if everything your soul needs to transmute, everything your soul needs to learn, was applied in a single moment, no longer in several incarnations. All lessons are being presented in this incarnation. Many are not realizing this and let the lessons pass, believing that there is time, that there is still a lot of time to correct yourself, to improve as a human being and as a soul. But I tell you that the moment is short, the amount of time you still have to correct many things is small. It's no longer incarnations, it's no longer a dozen or more years ahead, time is short. So this is the time to look every minute, not every day it's every minute, to change, prepare, analyze, so that you at least stop generating new problems. If you stay balanced, if you can stay within the lines necessary for the fifth dimension, you start to worry only about what is coming from the past, because every minute something arrives, but with the certainty that you will not be generating anything else in the future. Now if you don't care about this, if you keep making the same mistakes, if you keep getting unbalanced, being aware of that, you are sowing now and you will reap soon after. So that's where many people notice that they don't seem to move. They walk, 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 and suddenly, they slip and go back there again. That's exactly why, why you keep repeating the same mistakes. You know you make a mistake, you know what the mistake is, but you don't hold back and make the same mistake again. So going forward, you will have to deal with everything that is coming from the past and with what you are causing today. Because everything is coming back very quickly. So, pay attention, always pay attention, it has to be immense in every minute, in every thought, in every word, in every action. It's not, I'll get better tomorrow, I'll get better one day. No, that doesn't fit anymore. You need to improve here, now. Understand the mistake and avoid repeating it, so that your journey gives you the impression that you are moving forward. And I can even say that those who have the impression that they are not walking are really not, they are exactly doing that. It's as if they walked a good stretch of road and suddenly, they slipped and went back all over again, having to start that stretch over again. The vast majority are like this. I must warn you that the closer you get to the fifth dimension, the more things accelerate and the more everything arrives, to be transmuted and modified. Don't understand that the closer you are, the easier it is, it's exactly the opposite. The closer you get to the fifth dimension, the more everything adds up to be dealt with. Because the closer you get, the more you shorten the time you have to correct everything. Then things start to fall in front of you, much faster. That's why you have the feeling that you come and go. And that's exactly what happens. You go, you don't manage to transmute everything and you come back. But on the other hand, I must tell you that the journey is the same, there is no other way to be. There will always be you going a lot forward and coming back a lot. But I can say that you didn't finish the walk. From the point you left to where you start to slip, there is always a positive balance. So, at the end of the day, you walked a little, even if it was just a single step. But everything will depend on how you are treating each thing that appears, each strange moment, each strange reaction from the other. How are you treating this? Still angry, still discouraged, still lacking love? Or are you understanding that this is all a test, and in fact, it's a test to see if you learned that lesson? So it has to come back one more time, so that you can demonstrate, 
yes, I learned. And that ends definitively. So the tests keep coming back all the time, and as you haven't yet effectively learned not to repeat the mistake, you go back, you slip on your way backwards. But this cannot and should not be a reason for discouragement, everything is learning. So at every moment, at every step that you realize that you have faltered again, you have to stop, understand, talk to your higher self, how do I get rid of this? What do I need to do to get rid of this lesson? And be sure that your higher self will answer you, whether with words, or with thoughts, or with something you will see, stay tuned, because you will get an answer. Do not feel incapable, ever at any time. The lessons are tough and I can tell you that the lessons are presented to you in order of ease of learning. First the easiest ones, so that you can walk. So you are reaching that as you would say in your games, that difficult phase of the journey. Because now, those heavier lessons come, those where you really need to transmute, with just one feeling, love. Therein lies the most difficult lesson, which is to listen, pass, see and not emanate any feeling other than love. That's why you slip so much, because the lessons are at a difficult level, it's not easy to get past them. But I'm not saying here that you don't have the capacity, you have a lot of it. So ask for help, talk to your higher self, ask your masters for help. You are forgetting your masters. They are the ones who are there by your side watching everything. And when you talk to your masters, don't explain the situation. Many of you do this, you explain the situation bit by bit, as if they weren't there seeing everything. So in this way, you convey to them the following, Look, I went through this and you didn't see it. Agreeing that they are far away, they are not close to you. So when you're in trouble, just ask, What can I do to get out of this? Because your masters know what you are going through. They are not sleeping nor are they far from you, they are all there next to each of you. So just ask the question, What do I do to finish this lesson? How do I act so that it doesn't come back again? And wait for the answer, I guarantee you that you will have it. So don't be discouraged, don't think that the journey won't take you to the fifth dimension. Because it is exactly the proximity of the fifth dimension that is making you go through all of this, through so many experiences that are difficult to transmute, to live. Are you having difficulties? Ask for help. That's what you have to do. And the masters are getting closer to you, exactly for that reason. But they can't do anything if you don't ask, you forget that. You think that everyone around you has an obligation to carry you on their lap, to avoid all sorts of problems. Once again I will tell you, if that were the case, the soul would not evolve. So you have this bad habit of placing responsibility for your actions on others. Don't do this to your masters, because they don't act this way, they only act when you ask them to. Of course there is protection on their part, but everything up to a certain limit. Now solve the problems, this will never happen. You have to ask for help, then yes, they will act. And you often forget that, you try to solve things on your own. And then what happens? That big slip because you can't solve the problem alone. It is not shame, it is not inferiority to ask your masters for help, they are the ones who can help you, not the other, not another human being. Everyone has their own perspective on a problem. So if you ask another human for help, he will give it to you from his perspective. Will it be good for you? So stop throwing the solution to your problems onto other people's backs. Now your masters, yes, you can ask for help. But it's not asking them to solve the problem, because they won't do that either. It's asking them to help you find a way out, find a way to get rid of it, that they can do. Then, the journey becomes increasingly difficult, precisely for your purification for the fifth dimension. Don't complain, don't think it's unfair. You think you have already transmuted everything, 
but I tell you that a lot of heavy things are yet to come. You transmute what you have the capacity to do at the moment. No one is presented with an extremely difficult lesson if they do not have the ability to go through it, it would be innocuous of us. So if you are going through difficult things, it is because you have already reached the front. And now you have full powers and full conditions to understand how to resolve each of them. So don't feel like you're being punished for anything, you're just getting the heavier load. Because now, only now, do you have the condition to know how to go through each one of them?